And I am now really excited to introduce Bianca L. Period McGraw. Bianca L. Period McGraw uses art, poetry, performance, and space as a vehicle for discussion about identity, diversity, and perspectives. She explores personal, societal, and communal experiences. Bianca is currently pursuing a doctorate degree in adult and higher ed at Northern Illinois University, and completing her Master of Fine Arts encouraged her con to continue her education and research on the importance of how art, advocacy, and cultural in environments intersect. She has been all over the place. She has performed her poetry in Chicago, Dallas, Salt Lake City, France, Mexico, the UK, and she lives right here in Buffalo, New York. And we are thrilled to bring her on stage. Her passion is an interchangeable balance between art, design, diversity, poetry, community development, and personal engagement. Bianca is providing a artistic performance centering racial equity in the past year of 2020. Welcome to the stage, Bianca. Well, hello. <laughs> this is so fun. It's, it's weird because like, you know, you can't hear people and yeah, it's okay to unmute yourself if you need to just yell. I'm, I'm totally good. I'm down for that. Um, any interruptions, I, I applaud. It's amazing. So again, my name is Bianca L. Peter McGraw. Um, I was asked to write a piece and I wrote a few and then trashed them because trying to figure out what was best. Um, yeah, you know, just trying to figure out what would work best. And so after really kind of reviewing um, kind of like what the awards are about, I kind of I think this is a good piece, we'll go. If not, I totally take feedback and criticism. Feel free to put that in the chat um, and I will work on that and my craft. I appreciate everybody. <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? Uh-huh. No, COVID-19 isn't a hoax, ma'am. 911, what's your emergency? Mm -hmm. No, sir, we can't send them back to where they came from. I suggest you continue to social distance yourself and, and wear face masks. 911, what's your emergency? No, we can't send any officers to enforce evictions right now. 911, what's your emergency? Uh huh. Well, is the man doing anything? He's sitting on a park bench. Is he doing anything else? No, ma'am. We can't dispatch a unit because you think the man is suspicious because he's sitting on a park bench. Oh. Oh, the gentleman is black. Okay, ma'am. We're sending officers over your way right now. Dow tone. Emergency response and pandemic are just new entries in a phone book that is systemic. And it's approach to collect the numbers of all the people, the pandemic spam calls, the sheeple. Text messaging, funny memes of racism, blocking calls from the people in need like it's terrorism. 911, what's your emergency? Proclaims the operator. But what happens when the caller is actually the perpetrator? What happens when the people sent to help become the arbitrator? Why, and the bystanders use their cell phone cameras like calculators, adding up more minutes to the phone bill we call America while swiping left on equity like it was an unattractive person named Erica, FaceTiming the stereotypical good parts of the community, double tapping an Instagrammable selfie of police immunity, Facebook live in a Capitol building mutiny. 911, what's your emergency? How do you tell the operator that the emergency response that was sent has now become the agitator? A mute button on the protesters, an ignored call for the demonstrators, a deadly detonator. 911, what happens when the calls don't go through? 911, what happens when the people can't pay the bill? 911, what happens when the company turns off the power? 911, what happens when they repossess all the devices? How will YouTube be viewed? How will the people door dash their food in this community? Closed mouths don't get fed, especially when the 1% is taking off the bread. So the bread is the thing the community decides to make. Breaking bread so there, breaking bread so there is an even take. Baking in affordable housing and job placement opportunities. Slicing the end pieces of unrestricted law enforcement impunities. Toasting in inclusive communities and access to healthy eating. 
knifing off the burnt edges of ally, gatekeeping, buttering up community development slices, adding increased quality of life jams and spices, reaching for that device so we can take a pic, pausing because community work isn't for the Instagram heart click. Remember why you do this and more. Remember the people that you do this for, sharing and breaking bread, making sure that every closed mouth does get fed. Community collaborator, you are now the 911 operator. Thank you. Yeah, that was amazing. That was awesome. Wow. Take a minute. Yes. Yeah. Woo! Get online, everybody, Woo! and just shout a little cheer for Bianca. Thank you. Woo! Awesome. Thank awesome. you, Bianca. Fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. That was so amazing and such a powerful reminder of, of where we are and the role of each of you in doing this work. Um, this is this is the solution. You are all the solutions to, you know, the ju the justice, the the violence, the the hunger, the employment, the 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 integrity, the recognition that our community is so long overdue in, in getting. And Bianca, you just your craft was spectacular. Thank you so much. 